What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. I'm Full Throttle. And, and I'm Cerebro. And today we're doing, of course, our uh, weekly roundup of our TV shows that we normally do. Um, this week we're doing Constantine, Gotham, Agent Carter, Flash, Arrow, and I think that's it. That's it. Well, that's yeah. a lot. That's, that's all a lot. That's all of them except one. Really? Until Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. come back and well, Walking Dead. Yeah, Walking Dead. And well, then Agents we'll have of a lot more. Yeah. Then um, you guys will be with us for like two hours. Right. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and I guess we decided to start off with uh, Constantine. Constantine. Since they're, this time around we are doing two episodes of Constantine. Since we're actually kind of caught up. So yeah, it's like this entire last week plus that little extra episode. Right, exactly. So we're going to talk about the two most recent episodes. I believe episode 10 and 11. So. Um, and uh, we'll talk about that first and then we'll go from there. Yeah. I really, so like you mentioned, the fact that they explained Chaz was fantastic. Oh, I love that episode. Because it wasn't like, so I liked his origin. I liked his story. I, I really liked the fact that it's not just that he's immortal. It's that there's a very specific thing that happened to him. Specific he's, spell. He's very much, he's limited. And that's, yeah. that's kind of one of those things that like, all right, let's say this goes into season two, which, eh, dubious, maybe, possibly. Maybe. Um, but let's say this goes into season two, like, he could die. Like, he could be done. Yeah, because... And that's, um, that's kind of interesting. Because he only has 30 lives left, so... 36. No, 30, because it was 32 when... I thought he had 37, and then he had said 36. Nope, 32, then, because uh, he was like, I'll give you all 32 souls. And then he didn't believe him, and he's like, well, I am a man of my word, but I lied. I'm going to only give you 31. Kills himself so he can show him that he'll come back. He comes back to life. And then he's and like, then he okay, exploded. I want... And he's and like, I want 31. He's like, that's fine. If you agree to give me 31 souls, I'll give you your daughter back. Then he tricks him, pulls out the grenade, blows himself Boom. up. Now he's a guy 30 lives. Blowed but here's himself the up right in front of his ex-wife, too. Yeah. She was like, what? But his ex-wife already knew, which is cool. I like that. I like that she wasn't in the dark. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of shows tend to do like, oh, I'm keeping a secret from yeah. you. And I'm I like glad this. Like, as much don't. as much as a secret as everything's supposed to be on Constantine, they don't really play around. They're just like, listen, I gotta do some sh like, get out of my way. So when he was in New Orleans, the cop found out. Yeah, you know, it was just like, listen, um, I don't have time for this. So like, demons, e you know, evil rising. I got something to do. So, yeah. and that's kind of what they did here. And, like they walked up to the the train the train station, and he's like, didn't even look around. He was just like. Like um, reveal and that's it. Like this thing just appears out of nowhere, and it's like it doesn't really matter if people know. Like it's bad enough. I think it's bad enough now to to the point of like even if people found out, it doesn't matter because it's bad. It's a bad right. enough situation. Well, to me, uh, I enjoyed both uh, episodes, which is weird because so far for Constantine, I've been saying that I really haven't been enjoying them. Mm -hmm. Not that I've hated them, just not as much enjoyment as other shows. So. But I actually enjoyed it. One, obviously, the first one, episode ten for Chaz. I I, I love them explaining Chaz's story. Uh, it was a good way to go. Uh, you know, they had a mixture of both, where they're showing you the past and doing the present. I like that, and they did an overall good job. Episode eleven, I enjoyed it because the comedy worked. Because his friend was funny. The way his friend delivered the comedy was funny. Uh, there was a part where uh, they talk about like how Constantine is a uh, you, uh, something along the lines of like um, um, a person that you can get along with and and he his friend just delivers a comedy line it, it's subtle but it's there that made me chuckle uh, okay where, where he uh, so you got you got you got a yeah, chuckle out of it I finally. got a chuckle out of it so finally he, his friend definitely did a good job on that I'm still the actor is a, I looked him up uh, so it's Matt Ryan Matt Ryan's uh a very, very young actor still. Uh, when it comes down to his acting, I don't mean he's young, but his acting's young. He's only done Assassin's Creed games. Uh, he's done two movies, Layer Cake with uh, James okay. Bond and <laughs> James Bond. Da Daniel Craig. And then also uh, he did Paper, um, Flying Paper, Fly Paper or Flying Fly Paper uh, with uh, uh, McDreamy. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> you can't call him that. I know I can, but that's what everybody. I don't does know his him. name. Um, why can't I remember his name? Because I like him because he's actually a race car driver in real life. He he races cars. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's about, they 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 yell at him all the time because insurance companies don't want to 
they don't want to cover him. They don't want to risk. They don't want <laughs> him to risk his life. Like that. But uh, but yeah. So he's been in those two movies. Now this show, and he's done Assassin's Creed. So he hasn't done a lot. Uh, so yeah, he's still, so he's he's still, still get, learning. Getting his sea legs. Um, I don't know. I mean, even still, till episode eleven, he still has a way to go for me. Uh, I'm not saying he's bad by any means, but. He's not a he's not an actor that's catching me. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like he's not so good where I'm like, whoop, there it is. You know, like he's he's got a hold of me. Let's watch. Let's see what happens. Uh, where other shows definitely are. So, uh, but I enjoyed the, these two episodes. I think it was very very well done. Uh, both of them. I enjoyed that. Um, you know, his friend was able to deliver these comedy lines that they're trying to throw in, and it worked. Um, so yeah, I, I like both episodes. I can't really say much, uh, much really else about them. I I really enjoyed episode ten, which has his uh, history, but uh, not even a big history. Just basically why he's immortal, and mm. and that makes it because I wanted to know, and that was very well explained. Yeah, that's what I really I really like that. I liked the new episode. I think it had a lot of really cool pieces to it. Yeah. Um, the transcendentalism that they talked about was really really cool just in general how they handled that um it was kind of in in the realm of like freddy krueger yeah. but not you know but like more powerful and right. crazier which i really enjoyed and then him showing himself to be such a powerful soul powerful mind that he went into somebody else's creation uh and manipulated it himself that that was awesome, and that to me proves that he this guy could be a very big asset down the line. Mm -hmm. um, I I like the fact that they brought him back from the first episode, from the pilot. Um, it make it, it it gives me a little bit of hope that they maybe brought back the girl. Right. Maybe they'll bring back the girl for like episode thirteen. They can't they can't just ignore her. It's because, really hard for because me to think about every story. Every time they say scrying map, I'm like, I know how that's there, but apparently no one else on the show does anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like so yeah. it's, it's and they and they even in the, in this episode when he sat down in front of the mirror, he saw the her dad. Right. So it's just one of those things that I'm like, please just resolve that little story. Yeah, yeah. Like have true. her come back and just be like, Listen, I'm sorry I couldn't deal with it. Right. See you later. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's one thing they definitely got to work on, and I, uh, Chaz, uh, Chaz is a giant. Did you see that? Like, he's tall, man. He's a big dude. He, he knocked out Constantine, and, like, he was carrying him like he was, like, a baby, man. He's a big dude, yeah. Chaz is a giant, but, yeah, overall, I mean, I, I enjoyed both episodes. I really can't say much about them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I think they were definitely a lot more enjoyable than anything else from Constantine. Uh, I enjoyed the first few episodes, yeah. uh, the mid-season uh, finale, and then the return weren't really anything as exciting to me. But overall, this the series is so far, it's good enough where I hope they continue it, uh, just to kind of see how it goes. Uh, I hope they don't just cancel it after one, um, one season, only because it's... It, it, it needs more. It yeah. No, you know, 13 episodes well, I like the, is not... I like the idea of, you know, they, they've seeded these characters, and if the show does go on, you can... Like, um, oh my goodness, I just forgot his name. I literally just forgot his name. The detective. Um, the detective from New Orleans. The, te the detective from New Orleans. The guy who becomes a specter. I would like to see that, because she's had that moment where she looked at him and she saw the guy... His, his future, his death, or oh, whatever. Right, 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 right. And she saw that green aura around him. And, 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 you know, people who are fans of the comic know that that was a moment where she saw the specter and the, the future of him with being the specter's uh, vessel. So I think that will be cool to see, to kind of maybe season two or season three, if, you know, if it does continue that far, to replace Manny with the specter. Right. Because the specter is the instrument of God's justice. And that's kind of that, you know, I feel like Manny maybe bridging that gap somewhat right uh so if they replace manny and they put in the specter i think that'd be kind of cool yeah absolutely so yeah i mean there's i don't know if you have much more to say but for me I mean, no i really like both episodes yeah. i i i actually thought 11 was the last one i forgot it was 13 yeah so there's two more episodes um i i didn't really see the trailer for the next episode but overall i'm, I'm expecting that the next two should be overall pretty good yeah, but then again so. originally they did 
order a full season of episodes, so maybe I think, we might... If I remember right, it was a, an order of 13, they bumped it to 22, right. and then they brought it back down to the original okay. order. So if that's the case, I'm hoping that 13 is a good final Yeah, episode. because, I mean, because we don't want a Gotham thing. That, like, yeah. Gotham in the middle of the season had no plan. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, you know, even Constantine had a plan for the middle of the season, so I'm kind of hoping that there is more to it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I completely agree. Uh, but yeah, from there, you want to just go straight into Gotham then? Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about that. So for me, uh, the episode was a little better uh, than the last two, or last three, should I say. Yeah. Um, huh. But it still wasn't a great episode. Uh, I agree. It still wasn't... It wasn't like the beginning of the series where I was like, okay, this is fun. Um, it had Bruce Wayne in there, which, of course, once again, when tying him in, it feels like the, sh the show's a little better. Not because I want Bruce Wayne, just because they start out the series that way. And sure. it seems like it's kind of revolved around him. Uh, even though it shouldn't be, they did uh, explain that though, although, which was which was good that they they threw that yeah, kind of throwaway I'm, I'm, line in to be like, I was out of town for a while. Like you told me to leave town, I left town. Now I'm back. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm I'm happy to see that. Um, I'm happy to see that they're kind of gonna go. It, it almost looks like like I was right, and they're gonna fade him out because now, uh, Kitty told them that. He's not cat. cat kidding, it's whatever. a different cat. universe. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> cat told him basically that she did not see the face, which is good. Uh, I can see that she didn't see the face. I mean, I guess you can see if she might have seen the face. Right. But I'm glad that they went the route. She did not really see the face. Either either alive. she's lying or she's finally being honest. So that's one of the two options. I think she's being honest because she realizes how much the kid or Bruce, the kid, the uh, Bruce Wayne is really invested in this and also that he, uh, you know, tries to be nice towards her. Uh, and I think she just wanted to finally tell him the truth. So I'm glad they're going that route because that means now that Bruce Wayne knows that she did lie and basically nobody saw the guy's face at that point, that means he can now kind of fade out, disappear, and, and then, you know, maybe next season show up for one episode and disappear again sure nothing nothing crazy because the the series needs to go away from bruce for it to be its own series right, right now absolutely. it's not what they wanted gotham to be they wanted gotham to be gordon it's not because of the way they started it with bruce wayne it's bruce wayne as much as nobody wants to admit it or or even some people that do want to admit it as much as they wanted it to be gordon it's bruce wayne right now and until they fade him out it's a Bruce Wayne story because you saw how the last three episodes, they just weren't nothing that we were excited about. Yeah, it, it wasn't that great. I, I, The one thing I find interesting about this episode, like I'm actually trying real hard right now to think what what Gordon's case was. So what was the sequel? What was the, uh, the, the procedural part of the show, right? <laughs> right. But I, I don't remember what the case was. Uh, I remember Bruce... And, yeah. and Bruce and Cat, that interaction. I remember the entire penguin fish Mooney thing. Right. So I remember all of that. Right. I really like. I really, really liked Victor Zaz in this. Yeah. yeah. He is. He's becoming better and better of a character. Yeah, I enjoy Victor uh, uh, Zaz's role. I, I actually, the guy that's playing him, really, really good. And he's I, doing I, really overall, I enjoyed well. him in in the what three episodes he's been in yeah he's been in three or four um, episodes he's been fantastic and i think he's just gotten better and better and especially in, in his last episode he he kind of came in to clean up like penguin is, was about to get it uh i've been i do want to say this i'm glad you brought that up because uh that brings me up to gordon and the actor uh i feel like in this episode he was trying way too hard with his facial expressions to play an upset cop because it was all about um, you know the guy came in to because he saw the murderer of the murder that happened uh, it was just a random uh, it was a killing and it ended up being a cop that killed whoever was at the store the, oh, right, the, right, right, right. the guy saw he came in as a witness he got killed in the, That's in right. the precinct and then, you know, this is where Gordon needs to find out what cop did it. Because he figures out it was a cop, but what cop? And if you watch his facial expressions, they're just over the top. 
Uh, I'm not. This guy definitely plays Gordon well, and I enjoyed him uh, until, for some reason, this episode when I was really paying attention to his facial uh, expressions. He's it just yeah, it was, I, it was I, a little now, over the you, top. Like now that you say to, that, yeah, he was trying to like really show anger, yell, scream, and and, and it, it wasn't necessary to show that anger. So. I don't know. It just didn't work out this uh Now this that you episode. say that. I enjoy him as an actor. Uh, he's been doing a great job for the series. It's just for some reason with this episode, the, the, the facial expressions were too much, in my opinion. Uh, but overall, the, the episode was definitely better. I enjoyed it. Um, but I'm still worried that I'm kind of losing my uh, interest in it. Because as much as I want to continue to like it as much as I did in the beginning, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like they're doing a good job of doing that. So uh, I, I feel like it needs to be... Something needs to happen. I enjoyed something, the fish Mooney thing. Getting, something, you know, something bigger. Along. Yeah, something definitely bigger definitely needs to happen. Um, I I thought the the Harvey Fish Mooney thing, the kind of revelation, I guess, at the end was not necessarily pointless, but it really didn't do anything. It for didn't me. fit in. It really didn't do anything for me. I thought he was playing her the whole time right. for for information. And then to show that it's it's a, an emotional thing, doesn't make sense because she tried to kill him in like the second third episode. That yeah exactly. So it don't make exactly. zero sense. I it mean, just yeah. Even though they have a history, she tried to kill him. I don't think like there's flat a, out tried like to flat murder out, him. Like hung him upside down, tried to murder him and Gordon, and doesn't make sense. Doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, they really they really shoehorn that one in, and I think that was just to leave her a way back in. Sure. Uh, because she had to leave. She had to leave town. There was no way around that. And I think that was just... Let's throw this little thing in to have her have a way back. I will say this. At first, I enjoyed... Um, what's her real name? Fish Mooney's real name. Jada Pinkett Smith. Thank you. I enjoyed her more in the beginning. Lately, I'm getting... I don't know if it's annoyed... Or I'm just not enjoying her toughness, um, but it just it's sometimes like it's not lately, the same. It's not the same. It's not the it's same. The, I feel at like she's trying harder. At the beginning, at the she beginning, was it felt very more natural, manipulative, right. and it just felt more natural for her character. And now when she walked in, she had that bat in hand. I was kind of like, well, not even the bat, but like she's trying to be all tough while getting tortured. Uh, you know, yeah, all that just yeah, that was very much as 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 a manipulator as she is. I can't see that, oh, I'm about to take this saw and possibly cut off one of your limbs. Is that all you got? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, you're like, right. You're right. It, 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 yeah, just, it, it didn't definitely... Feel, it didn't feel... It felt like a bit much. Yeah, it felt too much. So, and also, it worked for Penguin to just come back. It really worked. They did that It worked for him because he had that ambition to be Absolutely. in that position. She just wanted more power from the power she had. Now that she has no power... Um, I, I hope she doesn't come back as Exactly. Fast. I don't I think... I hope it takes a while. I, I think she will... I, I just think she, she will fade away. Yeah, or I that. think she was already in a place where she had that power because you got to look at it this way. They didn't. I don't, I don't necessarily think that they went into this in depth, but you definitely get the feeling that Falcone brought her up. Yeah, Falcone absolutely. put her in a good position, yeah. and then she earned her spot later. Yeah. So now that she's completely out of favor with Falcone, no one else is going to take... Like, Gotham families are done with right. her. So she has to build up a power structure somewhere else, and then what, come back and invade? That's that's just a hard process overall. Yeah, that is a hard <laughs> process. And um, like I said, I mean, we talked about, I asked you a while ago, I'm like, is this a character that was just created for the show? Because I couldn't find her yeah. character for the comics at mm -hmm. all. And if that's the case, even if they just phase her out and like maybe show her in an episode in, in season two, I wouldn't care. Uh, because at this point, like I said, especially with this last episode, she played way too tough. It was way over the top. And I, I if they just focus on Falcone and uh, Maroney. Maroney, I'd be perfectly and that's, fine. And that was kind of always the thing. If they talk about the Falcone and Maroney connection... There's a lot of stuff that they can bring in that's a little more not necessarily not necessarily, you know, superhero y, but like the Court of Owls. That's up until the point of in the Batman books where they show up with their 
you know, crazy glider suits and all right, that stuff. Right. They had basically assassinations done. It's just these people with masks on. You don't know who they are. Right. And, like, they could bring in something like the Court of Owls. They could bring in League of Assassins. Ah, maybe not even so much the League of I Assassins. I mean, they could. It just... It's just very much like there's this stuff you can bring in that's more to, more down down to the earth that than, than, you know, the entire Batman, you know, universe that I just don't think that there is a need for a made for the show character. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean there I think are, there's definitely room to tell these other stories in a completely different way. Sure, absolutely. And I mean we didn't have from what I, I believe from what I understood from you, we didn't have this story in the comics where they explain Jim Gordon, is that correct? Where they go on the path? Um not not explicitly, not not nothing really that that dealt with him for a long time. Right. He there were you know episodes here or episode issues here and there that Where covered kind of show... covered his you know younger years, sure. stuff like that. His, when he I think they did cover him um, like during Batman Year One, they talked about right. how he just co had come back, things like that. But there was never I mean as far as I'm aware, there was never a lengthy period you know like an entire. 12 issue or more series right, where, where you know there was never a year's movie. worth of reading of Gordon. Right. So in that in that aspect if if there's really just kind of going their own way with this which they are obviously Absolutely. but I mean uh you know if they're really just going off they can still use certain familiar type of characters sure. that were in Batman or not necessarily they were in Batman but that could be involved with Batman. Sure. So like even, uh, like you said League of Assassins is uh, a, a perfect example because Rachel Go he's old but he doesn't look old so he could have been at this time period and he Absolutely. could he could be involved somehow in not necessarily him. You don't have to bring Rachel in here. But you can bring somebody from the League of Assassins and get them involved in the story. And it, they don't necessarily have to go in such a detail where you have to see Raish, but... Sure. But you I can mean, still you can even call that. it something else. There's also all these other organizations in the DC Universe, you know, in the Batman Universe, that you could bring in. And or it, you can, or in, in all honesty, in, instead of bringing in, or you can just focus on Falcone and Maroni, Maroni yeah, and you, you focus on involved that. in that. Absolutely, because that, that 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 line of stories in and of itself, you bring in some of the weird characters like the Riddler, who I thought really had a great episode for what little he was in it. Sure. Um, you can bring stuff like that in, like he could become their inside man, or right. you know, th there's just all these little little nuances that you can definitely play more towards the mafia kind of style mm -hmm. versus going into more of the weird, you know, like assassins guilds and things yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely a way to do it. I just don't think that it, I, I don't think it's necessary to create new characters that are on par with. You know, because she was basically the enemy for Falcone, yeah, the absolutely. real enemy for Falcone. Yeah. So for me, like, you already had characters to do that. There's no need absolutely. to have Fish Mooney. Absolutely. I mean, like, I, I liked her initially, um, and I, I, I overall liked her, but it just, I don't think it was necessary, and I think they, they put her out in such a way that she doesn't need to come back. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. And, um, you know, just to kind of finish up, because I don't really... There's really not a lot for me to talk about this episode. We totally talked about this longer than Constantine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So for me overall, I enjoyed the episode better than the last three. Uh, they still have some work to do to kind of get back into being their own show without Bruce Wayne. And if they keep, overall, if they keep Fish Mooney out of it, I'm okay with it. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So absolutely. yeah, overall, enjoyable episode. Hoping, hoping that the next, you know, I, I think they're going full... Um, are they going 22? 19, I thought. 19? So, we still got a few more episodes to go. Mm -hmm. I hope it's fun. I didn't see the preview, or I don't remember the preview for the next one, so I can't say if that looks good, but it was a better episode. It was well, a better tonight, episode. So. Yeah, it was a better episode. <laughs> we'll watch that one tonight, but it was definitely, a, this was a better episode, and um, yeah, we'll see where they go from here. Yeah. Are we talk about Flash? I don't care either way. I'm excited for these. Well, here's things. the thing. Just because we were talking about race, let's talk about Arrow first. All right, all right. Let's talk about Arrow. First. I don't want to just, just want to bring that point home. The fact that everyone is saying his name wrong, and then right at the end of the episode, the assassin like uh, forget his name. I always forget to do his, his friend. Name. His, his friend. Arrow's friend. He gets the call about you know Merlin's not leaving Star City. 
And he's like, I will tell Ra's al Ghul. He even says it, Ra's al Ghul. So I'm like, why is everyone else mispronouncing it? I think, does Merlin say it wrong too? I could have sworn he said it right. I feel like he did at some point. Because when he was talking And then talking most recently, to he, he said it wrong. Oh, okay. Because I thought in this... Uh, I can't remember. I was watching it I feel like they, night. I feel like they can't make up their minds, so the, the actors just, like, ad-lib it. Or maybe maybe <laughs> what they're doing is, okay, the people that know how to say it properly, say it properly, and the people who don't know say it incorrectly. And I can see I guess, that because yeah. not everybody's going to say it right. When they sure. look at the name, they will probably say it wrong. So... Uh, I, if they're going that route, I'm okay with it. Sure. Uh, I would like to see them say it right, you know, Raish, because his buddy said Raish, so there's no reason why Oliver can't start saying because Raish. Because the daughter said Raish. Right, right. So, and, like, to me, like, that, right, that's definitive proof of how to say it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So it's definitely Raish I'll go, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe it is because, you know, it's just how multiple people could say the sure. say the name. So I'm not really too worried about that as long as they are saying it right. I think they're just kind of going for different people to say a different way. I'm fine with that. Yeah. You can leave it at that if you want or if you start like if Oliver starts saying it right way I wouldn't be upset about it because there's so many people that have said it the right way in front of them. Right. The only thing is I can't remember if Merlin said it because he does mention it too. I feel like he did uh, earlier. Right. Like previously in the show, I mean. Oh, okay. Well, I'm saying in this episode, he explains to her why they have to leave because he says that Raish is after them. Right. Uh, because he did, you know, he thinks, or Raish believes that he disgraced the uh, League and so now he wants his head and he'll go after his family. So I almost, I almost feel like he did say Raish. I could be wrong. I can't remember, I remember. 100 percent to detail. But I don't, if he did say it wrong, I can't see Merlin saying it wrong because he was involved with the Lee sure. for a while. Sure. So there's no reason why he would say it wrong. Right. Um, so I don't know. That's the only thing. But I, that being said, I like this episode. I love this episode. And I, I will say it. here why. Here's my main reason. And I know it's a stupid reason. It's not. I know it's not. Canary was not Canary. She got her butt handed to her, yes. and I'm yes. happy to see that because yes. there's no Absolutely. way she can be as good as her sister Absolutely. in such a short and, period of time. And, and it's good to see that all she is doing or all she's trying to do is throw fear into people who know the canary. So that is cool. Yeah, that was She still fantastic. got her butt handed to, handed to her, but regardless, at the end of the day, that is what makes that right. Because if they that said, my oh, part. I'm a badass and I'm going to start kicking people's butts... That would have been wrong in so many ways. Yes, is she getting training from the one dude? Absolutely. We haven't seen him in a few episodes, so who knows how that's going, right? But regardless, there's no way that she would have been that good to a point where she can wield a, a, a freaking... Well, and we said that before, right? It, there's, it, I, you know, I can... I can put on fishnets and heels, sure. throw a grenade that makes somebody knocked out, basically, and that doesn't whack mean them with a stick. Fight with like, proper much <laughs> right? And, exactly. And, and, but so and, she did that, and that was great because yeah. in this episode she yeah. tried to do that again, and it did not work because you can't do that in action. Yeah, in action, absolutely. it's a completely different scenario. Absolutely. So I like the fact that the team really jumped in and they said, "Listen, we have to do this." Yep. I like the fact that. Um, Felicity came back. Me too. Uh, uh, they did that good because it took her a few episodes. Yeah, it they, wasn't it just wasn't like, like a over quick it. flip. Like it wasn't like oh, in the same episode, I'm not happy with it. Oh, Palmer made me understand. Now I'm happy with it. No, it actually took two, three episodes, and I'm happy with it. That was great. That yeah. actually worked out. I, like I said, guys, uh, to me, Arrow still till this day has not made a bad episode. They might have made slower episodes, but not a bad episode. And so far, they've proven themselves. Every every moment they get a chance, they prove why this show is great I'm, on I'm TV. I'm with you. I'm with and, you and they're kicking butt. And like I said, very, very happy with how they uh, demonstrated Canary and that she's not her sister. Uh, I do like the fact that how she's trying to still play off the lie by changing her voice. I, I think that's pretty cool. I, think I, it's I hate cool. it and I like yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's I cool, but I think because she should just know. tell him. He because there's no him. reason. And this is now going into a worse lie. Not only does she not tell him that she's dead, but she also now pretended to be her. That's going to hurt him even more. Absolutely. So at some point, yeah, he will find out, and that's going to hurt a lot more. That she not only did not tell him, 
but she flat out disguised herself so she would lie to him. Right. So that's gonna. I don't know how he mistook her as Sarah because she's like seventeen feet taller than her. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Too. <laughs> she like it's but like I Sarah. Distance, Sarah, I guess Sarah from a Dinah, distance, like, you might not necessarily. Um, and I always want to call no. her Dinah. I never want to call her Laurel. I hate that name. Uh, I know it's, it's it is Laurel Dinah Lance, and it, I think it always was. I hate Laurel. I yeah. really like Dinah. Although I can't, I know in the comics, even in the New Fifty Two, from what I'm understanding, Arrow and Canary are an item now. Uh, yeah. They introduced them as a power couple, just like Superman and Wonder Woman. Yeah. So they they were pretty much always and, and a even couple. in the previous. Yeah, they were pretty much always a couple. They got so, married in the last universe. So I really do the hope that as much as the Felicity relationship is, you know, fun and everybody's like, don't, don't, you know, don't give up on the ship, the relationship, the ship, they say. Uh, to me, uh, yeah, it was uh, actually... Uh, Who said that? Uh, the Felicity. Uh, she did it on her real Twitter she or Instagram. She posted a picture and it says... Uh, don't give up on the ship, uh, and and, um, yeah, and she posted it up. She's kind of a weirdo. Did you see her? She's got some weird, some weird uh, videos. That she no, I haven't. But yeah, um, she's kind of weird. But, I, I, mean, I like it. I like that. I think her and Oliver are more like. I, I don't think it should be a relationship. I think the relationship should be more like brother and sister. Who? For Felicity, Felicity and, and Oliver. Well, yeah, and I think that's that's kind of what you're seeing. I always felt it that way, too. I never felt like they should have... Even when he said, I love you, in uh, in the when they were going after Deathstroke, when he told her in the episode, I love you, just to trick Deathstroke, I almost... Even when I watched that, I felt like he said it because he does love her in this form of a sister, not as a form of a lover. I don't know. I I haven't seen a person she could be really good with yet. Right. I think Oliver needs somebody who's in a costume. And I think it should be Canary. It, it, I, think, I, mean, I think it's going it, to be Canary. Well, I mean, it, it should. It definitely I don't think should there's be. A question well, about one, that. because obviously in the comics. Two, because they both actually have a relationship. And they've had sex. They've had sex. They've had... <laughs> They have people who have had sex are more likely to have sex. Like again. granted, he <laughs> cheated on her with her sister, but but not her sister's dead. Her so. sister's dead, <laughs> but no. So that's out the way. I mean, overall, there's no re there's again. no reason why they can't not go back to that being a relationship, especially now that she's trying to be in costume. I think it definitely could work out, um, and I think it should work out that way. I yeah. think that way. Um, the other reason I enjoyed the show once again, we get to see Arsenal. Uh, just being a awesome, really badass. doing well. And I, I like I, it. I, I, I like really it. like the fact that he took the death of that uh, city representative. He really took that to heart. So he had that moment where he's like, "I'm, I'm the guy in charge. I'm out in the field. I'm in charge." Yeah. And then he lost someone. Yeah. And he just, you had that moment where he was like, "No." Right. Like some, it went wrong. Like I made a decision and it went wrong. But I like that they didn't. I like that they didn't stay on that too long. Because yeah. we already seen a lot of drama with Arsenal, and we don't need to see more. So the fact that he was like, they just had that I lost little, that, but yeah. yet, you know what? If if it's not us, then who's going to do it? Yeah, and, they, they, and had that, so, they had that moment where he was like, listen, you know, I lost somebody. You know, somebody got killed because of me, and, you know, there's no miracle or limit on this time. Exactly. I just, like, and it was maybe five minutes, and we moved on. Yeah, and, and I enjoyed that. And uh, I can't wait... I can't wait to see their their reaction when he comes back. That's going to be interesting. And I wonder how that... Because, listen, as much as Merlin is a manipulator, she's going to find out. Like, like Arsenal told him, she will find out the lie. She will find out what the truth is. Absolutely. And yeah. when she well, does, here's the thing. I think I can't wait how to see how that. So goes. if they're playing her to, because her her Merlin name right is, right is Mia, right? Right, right. And Mia is Speedy, and sure. her nickname is Speedy. Right. So it's one of those things that like she could definitely fall into the family, into right. the Arrow family, easily. And I think it's going to be because of and that. And they are I calling think she's him now. They're not calling him Speedy. They're calling him Arsenal. So Well, they're calling him Red Arrow. Or Red Arrow. One that or was the other. great. Yeah, was yeah like, that was cool that they said that. But regardless, Arsenal or Red Arrow, I really which like means Arsenal. there's no two Speedies, which means Speedy could jump in. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, because he called him Speedy one time, and he was like, no. No, that's, yeah. that's not it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not going to be the uh, But I do... I like either Arsenal or Red Arrow. Either one works for me. When in uh, Young Justice, they said Red Arrow, I was like, cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay with Red Arrow. So, either way, uh, I don't care what name they use, as long as they use it. Um, I, I like it more that Arrow's not around, so I would like to see when Arrow comes back, like I mentioned in the previous video. Oliver does a little more Oliver stuff and lets uh, Arsenal do more work. Yeah. Uh, not saying that I don't want to see no, Oliver no, no. kick him Yeah, absolutely. But well, like, at first, he can't be... go back. He can't go straight back anyway. Right. So he's got to come back and he's got to be Oliver for sure. a while because he's got to heal. And now you didn't mention that he does go broke in the comics. I would like to see him have his own company. So yeah, well, he's got to get back I to I would it. like to see where he's like in a meeting, something's happening. You know what? You still got Diggle, you still Arsenal, you still have uh, Canary. Canary is yeah, so, so you can and let even them go. At some point. You can let them go, show their action while Oliver's doing his thing as Oliver, and you That's can gonna, definitely play that off. I think you would do it really well. I'm going to say it's going to be a very interesting league. I just will say this, I can't wait to see it. Adam's going to be very interesting. I'm I'm a little worried that it's going to be super Iron Man-like. I'm not. Because, I'm because, not, I'm because not Adam was that. never that. Sure, sure. Uh, I don't, I'm not worried about it. I think, like I said, so far they haven't disappointed me, so I feel like they will do it right. I feel like they're going to do, they're going to do the suit, right? And then I feel like he's going to get the power. Sure, because he. So it's a power. It's not a. <clears throat> it's not the suit that gives him the ability. It's the power. Right. It's the white dwarf fragment that he has with him. Oh, okay. Uh, white dwarf, which never made sense to me. He he powers from a white dwarf star. Gotcha. Um, but they're talking about white dwarf rock on this, which doesn't make any sense. A white dwarf is a star. Sure. Which has no rocks. I mean that. <laughs> and listen, I mean it. If certain things have to play off differently, sure. I mean, I you, you you have to adjust it. You you can't say this guy is powered by a star. Like, for people to wrap their head around that is pretty ridiculous. Right. So overall, loved the episode. I loved mean, it. Honestly, I will never loved it. I, I if the day comes where I say I did not love an Arrow episode, it was real bad. And then that was a bad episode. It was real because, bad. but until that day, I love this episode, and I cannot wait. Uh, for the next one. I can't wait to see Oliver yeah. come back. Well, I don't think he's going to be back next episode. Next episode or the episode after that. It, I, it has I would to be like soon. To, I he has like to, to get away from... I would like to see him come back at the end of the season. I would like, no. to be, I would like that to be the like. I will finale. disagree with Cerebro on this Alright, well, we're going to... I, 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 I hope he comes <laughs> back at least two episodes before the last episode. I mean, that's... Okay, fine. I'll but, be, I mean, I'll we're be, getting close to that. That's so true, yeah. We are getting close. I mean, if they do another 22 episodes or 24, um, you know, we're we're about 10 episodes away or so. So, so it's getting close. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. getting close. So, we'll see. But I, I'd I like, like to it. see I like to see him come back and, and him being Oliver. I want. Don't get me wrong. Not come back and he's like, oh, I'm Green Arrow again and I'm going to be working on the city. No, I want to see him come back as Oliver. Right. Do Oliver things, you know, figure out get his, his get money his situation. Back. Yeah, get his footing, footing back. Yeah, get his footing back as Oliver. Because he, he's got to spend, because here's the thing, he still has to spend a lot of time with, with Thea because. <laughs> Absolutely. She doesn't know that he's Arrow. Yeah. So he has to spend time with yeah, Thea. Absolutely. He, I think, has to, I think he's going to see Felicity move away from him towards Palmer. Palmer romantically. Right. So I think he might resurrect something with um, Laurel. With Laurel because I'm okay with them. Because she's gonna be in suit. Sure. And I think he might he might try to train her. Right. I think he should train her. He should train her. He should train her and then within that there's gonna be those moments where there's like they're roughhousing and right. then she's on top of well, her, she's on top of him. When watching Young Justice, by the way, Obviously, I haven't read as many comics as anybody that's probably watching this or watching the show. So, in Young Justice, based off that, Canary is a very... She kicks ass even Arrow's ass. Like She's a trainer. She's a trainer. She's a trainer, yeah. So, when it comes down to that, I would like to see Laurel at some point maybe go away for... Her. A half a season, or not? Maybe, maybe a half a season, just to kind of say, oh, a couple of months has passed. 
she's been training even more with somebody else, you know, right. somebody she that, would have, she that would Oliver's have, got got her in contact with. Right, yeah, I mean, she would have to go into pretty heavy training. I, I feel like Ted did train her originally. Okay. Ted taught her how to fight, I believe. Right. Um... That's the thing in the DC in the pre fifty two because that's the thing, I, I don't know a lot about the new fifty two but in pre fifty two um, it was very much it, there were, there was kind of an organizational structure in every in all of the teams so on the Justice League John Stewart was the trainer right like he was he was the soldier he knew how to fight he knew tactics so he was the guy I mean even on the old Justice League cartoon you saw it people would go into their training area with John Stewart right and he right. was the one who trained you how yeah, to fight absolutely. Um, and the same thing on the Just Society was Ted Cord, so she was more on Just Society, even though she wasn't an original League member. So it's really hard to tell like where she got her original training from. But I, I just don't think. I mean, she's a street fighter, so I think Ted Cord you want to train. Sure, absolutely. So I think she has to be hand to hand. She's gonna she's gonna have the staff, and she's gonna have to use those those grenades, which I think are genius. I think yeah. those things are amazing. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like about this episode, and it was just kind of like a minor thing because it only happened for about twenty seconds, is when she went to sit when she went to save the the representatives because they all know her. Uh -huh. She had the voice changer on, and it made her sound like a dude. The voice changed. It was super deep. Her, it was super it deep. It was super deep, and it made her sound like 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 Arrow does when he has the thing on. It's super deep, and it it was different. It was just kind of like a moment. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> I see what they have to. I mean, let's be realistic. It's in be. the real world. Even that little mask wouldn't really cover who she is. Well, the blonde, the but mask. The, uh, right, but you have to change the voice. It's just, if I put on a suit and I came up to anybody that someone knows me, they would recognize my voice at some point. Mm -hmm. So you have to have, in the real world, a voice changer. It's the only way it would work, and I can understand why they did it. It was a little weird. Yeah. It was a little weird Absolutely. because it was deep, and it was... It, but... I get it. That's the route they went with. And I'm not really, honestly, I'm okay with it. It was just something to get used to. Yeah. But from there, well, I'm just going to finish out. But though, once again, I love this episode. Loved it. He loved it. So there's nothing really bad to say about it. But let's go into Flash. You said... It's totally Bart. I know. It's totally Bart. Hold it. So what he did, so right at the beginning when Pied Piper was breaking the glass, he ran across the room and, and it was red. It was red. red. It, it was, was red, red, and I was like, holy crap, it's red. And then he did it again, and I was like, it's red! Yes! It's red. So, so. he's a good guy. However, the whole fucking tachyon emitter thing, I don't know what that's... Like, That's he's got to be from the future, and that's the reason he's losing... His the, power. Yeah, His that's, legs, too. Because he couldn't even walk. He couldn't even It was stand shaking, up. Yeah, yeah, it was shaking, yeah. Um, that was, yeah, that was definitely a strange moment, man. Also, what was the deal he made with Piper? I don't know. Because he had him. He had him dead to rights. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, when Flash gets there, he's like in his chair, and he's like, he's gone. Yeah. He's gone. It's like, what the fuck? I don't know. But it's Bart. It has to be Bart. He's got to be His Bart. lightning was but red. But then why would Bart kill? That I don't know. Ah, it's just, it's so hard. It's so they hard. They can't do that. They can't do that. They, they he can't, can't be red then. They can't, if he's... Even if he doesn't have his suit on, his lightning has to be yellow. His was red. No doubt about it. No question it. about it, dude. No, no question, question about, about it. it. And then when they... And when you watch the transition video, uh, part of it, like, there was red, red, and then there was a yellow one. But we never saw yellow in the, sh in the show, in this episode. He has to be Bart. But I don't know why he would kill. Why did he stab that? Bart doesn't stab people. Bart does not stab people. Ah, that's so hard. I don't know, it's weird. Although I liked, I liked Piper, the but actor, I, I didn't like the, I didn't like the fact that it was technological based. I wanted him to be another. Yeah, another there's no bang reason baby. why he wasn't a metahuman. Also, I'm gonna call them Bang Babies because that's a reference to um, to Static Shock, which is part of the DC universe. Right. Uh, and they they had the the bang and the explosion in yeah, the yeah, yeah. city. They called them Bang Babies. Yeah. So I'm gonna call them Bang, ba bang Babies from now. Um. Although the actor, I don't know his name, that plays Wells does say he is Reverse Flash. In an interview, he says, yes, I am Damn. Reverse Flash. Then why is it red? I don't know. Did somebody fuck up? I think somebody must have messed up. 
I think somebody must have messed up. I was so excited much, about that. Because to me, it would make more sense that it is Bart. Okay? Because... Time then, travel. Then it Time would, travel then it would make sense. To... Then it would make sense why he got beat up by Reverse Flash. Right. But then, the way you put it is... He was there, and then another version from a different timeline came, or earlier. Well, I think up. there's going to be two. I think there's going to be two reverse flashes. I think there's going to be two. I think that's why he stopped right in front of Thawne, and he looked him dead in the eye. Right. And he ran off. Right. So I think there's going to be. I think Unless you're going to get. I think you're going to get Elbar Thawne, which is Thawne's ancestor or descendant. Right. And I think you're going to get um, Zolomon. Okay. I think. I think. I think, um, well, I think Wells is going to be Hunter's all in. Sure. I mean, there's definitely two reverse flashes. I believe so. If if that is Bart that has a reverse flash suit, maybe because he created or whatever. Because he had to come back. He had to come back or something. Maybe that's what he needed to come back. Um, the but only thing is it doesn't, make, is sense it doesn't make sense why Bart killed. Because Bart does not kill. I don't care how you spin that, Bart does not kill. Right. So he has to be reverse flash, and he said in an interview, there's Except no, he, there's no reason, there's no reason for him to lie. So in a, this is Xbox video, the best place to that's a what the deuce. Xbox, stop. Your Xbox on any Go back. What? Why did it do that? That was weird. You didn't say anything about the shot. Cancel. Um, it's weird. So that being said, Wells, um, the actor in an interview says, yes, "Yeah, I, I remember Flash. seeing that. I am Reverse Flash." Yeah. So, so I, I I didn't like I didn't like Pied I think Piper. somebody messed up. I, it has to be. I think I didn't like Pied Piper. Uh, I like the episode overall. I, I didn't just, like the guy. Like, uh, is that what he was he's such a weirdo? Is that what he's supposed to be? With I don't. The glasses, I don't. So? No, he's like a loser. He's not a smart guy. He's not. He granted, neither is Ronnie. But you know, they're playing that differently. But uh, Piper. Well, he does no, say, "I know what happened with Ronnie." At the end. Right, which means he's probably going to tell them about the Firestorm connection. Right, which is fine. Right. They they needed a way to find that out without finding Ronnie. But. I don't know. It was. It, I just didn't like that part of the show. I really didn't like that aspect of it. Yeah, I was okay with it. I mean, I enjoyed it though. Uh, I I still absolutely love the episode. Uh, I don't know how I feel about him going behind Barry's back. His, I guess, stepdad, if you want to call him that. Uh, oh, researching Wells. Res yeah. I think. I mean, I think he's doing the smart thing. I think he's doing the smart. I just feel like I think he's doing the smart, prudent I mean, thing. I guess. And I think I he's doing the protective like thing. I just feel like it's drama. But I think that's how we're going to find out that he's Hunter Zolomon. I mean, that's fine. Or I or, he's gonna, or he's going to find out. I something. enjoyed the episode. I liked it a lot. Uh, it, there was a little trick playing that it could be barred because of the red uh, lightning. But yeah. the, the red lightning, if it was a mess up. It was a bad mess up. It was a bad mess up, guys. That's pretty bad. I know they're probably never gonna see this, but yeah. I just want to say, yeah, come on, it CW. It was a bad mess up. That was not CW, but the the directors that like that's just that shouldn't have happened. I don't know. It's it's it, it's weird to me that they would mess up to that degree. Unless they were trying to say something. Yeah. But. But who knows? But why would he say in an interview he is Reverse Flash? Yeah, it. I don't know. It's very strange. There's got to be two. Listen, I mean, I think we're gonna learn more. I think there's definitely gonna be more uh, time travel stuff going on here because. Well, they, they, yeah. they even said. They even said uh, in the second half there is gonna be more time time travel. Or at least that was the that was the thing that was going around that there is gonna be more time travel stuff. Sure. And as we saw with Wells, clearly he's having issues with his speed. He's having issues. Uh, at the end of the episode, we see like it's not working for him anymore. That uh, whatever you call it, oh, the tacky yeah. device. So clearly, something has to happen. Um, yeah, he's gonna. I mean, depending on, again, depending on who he is, it's gonna depend on what he's gonna have to do. Yeah. See, he's from the future, so he has to be. That's and that's the thing that doesn't make sense. He's from the future, and therefore he has to be either Thawne or Bart. 
Right. I mean, there's a couple other people that are possibly that, but it just doesn't make sense for it to be anybody else. Right. It's either Thawne or Bart. But then he got beat up by Thawne. At least we're presuming that that was Thawne because he looked at Eddie. He straight he, up stood in front of him. He, he stood in front of Eddie. He looked dead in the eyes. Now, again, I don't know. It's just, it's really, it's just a guessing game right now. There's just not enough information to, to make a conclusion. There's not enough information, but I loved it. Yeah, that was a great enjoyed episode. enjoyed it. It's a great episode. A great I wish episode. I wish Piper had more of a power and less of a sonic gloves. I say this, um, yeah, I do wish it was a power because there's it's not like there's no that was powers. Kind of, that was kind of the thing the whole season. So yeah, like, so it wasn't like it would have been a surprise that it was power. Like for me, I was expecting that like once you knocked the gloves off, it was just going to go crazy. Right. Like the gloves were focusing. Right. Sure, and that that would have been fun. Yeah, and I would have liked that, but. But at least I, I want him to have something akin to because in the in the comics he has he has an actual pipe right he has an actual flute so he's an actual piper. Well, maybe they'll introduce that. Maybe they're introducing it a little differently. I do like that though. He's like around here. I assign the nicknames. Except that one's really good. That was fun. <laughs> that was good. That was but yeah, good. overall, I, I I don't know. I actually enjoyed this episode a lot more than like remember the last one after the break. I said it. It wasn't as enjoyable. This one I enjoyed. I really I liked, liked it. it. It was a I lot of fun. It. Yeah. It was tough because I watched Flash and Arrow first, and then I watched Constantine, and that was hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you can't do that. You guys, I those have watched to be Constantine. Last. Those have to be last. Yeah. Those have to be last because they're going to be the best. They're really good, guys. I mean, I uh, I know it's, it's when somebody says it so many times that it's such a good season and you expect so much, or not season, but series. And you expect, you know, you hear that and you hear that and then you go into it. Even if you go into it, there's no way you'll be disappointed by it because it really is that good. Mm -hmm. It really is that Absolutely. good. Absolutely. So, yeah, guys, that was, yeah, that was our reviews of, of, of those. Uh, Agent Carter. Oh, my God, I forgot. Man, I can't believe I was going to go into that. I, I forgot. really like. That liked... shows you how much I enjoyed Agent Carter. <laughs> no, that was a really good episode, though. I really like the fact that they brought on Howard Stark. Now, here's the thing. He's an expensive actor, so you can't have him on all the time. Right. Which, which is fine. I like the fact that he was just super dick. He was just like, I'm here for this thing. I'm going to tell you that I'm here for this other thing. Yeah. And I'm going to make you do what I need I forgot about without it. telling you what I'm doing, you know, what we're doing. And it's like, yeah, it's Steve Rogers' blood. I might be... Xbox. Go back. Cancel. 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 Xbox. No. Turn off. Shut down. Cancel. I mean, it keeps it keeps doing it. Anyway. Well, that being said, uh, <laughs> I, listen, I really like the. the you I, said you enjoyed it. For me, I don't know. Something... I like the I like the pre Black Widow. So the fact so now I don't, I didn't really think they they didn't really cover this in the episode, uh -huh. but from reading other other things that there is a ref uh, a tie into the Black Widow. So the her next door neighbor. Yeah, that was cool. where she did that fucking move, which is totally the Black Widow move from Iron Man Two. Here's the thing, completely. Who the heck is that? She's just one of the other girls. What do you mean one of the other girls? She lives on in the building. Full no, of I know, but like, is she a bad guy, a good guy? Is she? Well, we don't know yet. On the show, we don't know yet. But because of what I read in a, in, a, in somebody talking to you know the, the director or whatever, right. there is a relation to Black Widow. Let me say which this. Which to me means that she's Russian. That was interesting. Yeah. Was the guy sick. dying literally after trying like I'm I'm this badass evil guy. Right. And then he just gets his next death like that was and that was too awesome. Flat. That was awesome. That, that was that was the only thing I enjoyed. Like Howard Stark lying. Like, that's how I felt about it. <laughs> like, that's literally... So here's like, the thing. Here's Man. the thing. You, you, you still need to watch that... Um, you still need to watch that one shot. And I do need to watch the one because, shot. Because I have... Uh, the only one I've seen was a Mandarin one shot. Well, the, the Agent Carter one specifically, because because it needs to... It, the, the whole thing needs to go into that, into that moment, right. right? Where Stark is starting up S.H.I.E.L.D. So Stark has to be cleared... Stark has to be back in good favor with the government. Right. And then he's going to be the one that's going to be taking S.H.I.E.L.D. from the SSR. Right. The SSR gets shut down entirely, and he creates S.H.I.E.L.D. Sure, sure. So he calls her... But even... You know, so like... <laughs> no, I, I, I get know. that, it's, but even with the one-shots, I mean, I don't know. Something about... The, I want to like it. I really do. Because I expected less. Because it's the 19, what, 40s or whatever. I'm not expecting... 
Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm not expecting what I'm expecting in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But for some odd reason, it's not connected with me. And I like, I like the era. Like, I like that. Um, but I just, I don't know. Something about it. I, I, I have to go soon, too. Um, Dr. Boyman. Mm. Um, but I don't know. Something, something about the series just is not connecting. I enjoy um, the crippled guy. I enjoy him. I can't remember his name though. Susa. Susa, right? Yeah, I knew it was a like a more female, feminine name. Um, so I do enjoy him for some odd reason. Like I like his character, but I feel like I want him to be involved more. I don't know. That's kind of. I mean, he was definitely in this episode. I, he, he I like. I liked his kind of rebellious. I'm gonna go do some actual police yeah, work. Yeah. So uh, I, I like the fact that. that he was wrong. So I like the fact that he's the good guy in that scenario, but he still approached the the, the moment Although, the wrong way. I will say this: I know we're in the era, and I I've been enjoying it in the era where they kind of like, oh, a women's job is to get orders and stuff like that. I, I I've enjoyed that. But she's an agent, and it and this matter. is I understand that. But she's it an didn't agent, matter, rather. Sure, but she's an agent, and this is Agents of Shield, basically before Agents of Shield. But I mean, it is but still she starts, Shield. Well, that's the thing; she starts Shield. So to me, it's like you would think they would have a little more respect because she is an agent. There's have a reason why she's an agent. Done? No, I haven't. I tried watching it. I tried, I, but I understand that. But that's the thing. Like, that, but and that was ten years later. No, sure, I understand that. But that's that's literally guys in advertising. This is Agents of Shield. So I figured they have at least a little more. I mean, she's an agent. If they had that much problem with women, then she wouldn't be an agent. But you gotta understand. So prior to her, I mean, if she's an agent, she's just getting orders. Then why isn't she just a secretary? But here's the thing. Prior prior to her arriving. All the other women that had anything to do with the SSR worked up front at the telephone company. Okay. That's it. That's no, where sure. the women, like, that's the kind of jobs women worked at back then. I understand that, but I mean, like, even even if you put it that way, like I said, I, don't get me wrong, I've, I, I thought it was, it, it was fun, you know, but at some point it's like, this woman, okay, that you make fun of, one is an agent, okay, mm -hmm. if you were just going to have her order food, make her a secretary. A lot easier. Sure. Then it would just work. Uh, two, even if she's a woman, she worked with Captain America. I don't care how denial you are but in this. But that's the listen, thing. They that's are fine. I don't they are in denial. They, I, but they I don't see care. Her. But they saw Captain America. They've seen what he's done. They but cannot they see, make fun but of they Captain see her as his girlfriend. <laughs> I, I that's, mean, why, that's why they see her as... As really like this, the arm but piece she of Captain listen, America, and that's she, why she has that that's spot. That's fine, but she was involved in that project where none of them were. She was more top than they were. I mean, I don't disagree. So, but that's at the some thing point, they, at they, some they point, point I that. get it. I get it. That's the world. It needs but to change. It needs to change. It needs to change, and that's what I'm saying. I really, I want them to advance the storyline. I want Stark to. I mean, if they're gonna, they're talking about this is. It's not supposed to be more than one season. Which is fine. That I'm means, fine. That means a, you only have like three more episodes to clear Stark's name and put him in a position of power where he gets to start and shield. It, and it's not doing that. Like right like, now, it's not, like, it's it's not, not moving fast point, enough. No. Like it's gonna have like the next episode has to be where you you find out that Stark's actually been working for the government right. the whole time. Right. And that's why two episodes later, Stark can be like, "Hey, I'm starting Shield. Uh, hey, you need to send her. Yeah, she's absolutely. Start shield with absolutely." Me. Like that's the only way that because happens. Because this is a mini series. Yeah, they it's supposed to be it. eight, they said it. eight episodes, and there's no pl there was no plan on a second season. Right. So it needs to tell the story. It needs to. So I don't know. We'll see. I know you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the part with the uh, snap in the neck and the whole maneuver. That was interesting because well, I was like, yeah. my uh, my wife was like, "Who is she?" And I'm like. I have no clue. <laughs> like, I have no idea. And, well, they said it was supposed to be she. She is Russian, and she is probably part of the pre-Black Widow okay. program. So, like the early stages sure. of, of the Black Widow program. That's fine. So, and I like that. I like the fact that they use the same move. Yeah. That was awesome. I saw that because I, I read that before I saw the episode, and then I saw it, and I was like, "That's amazing!" Yeah, yeah. It's just that really great moment, and I enjoy that moment in the show. But overall, it's still not. 
I'm not enjoying it like I want to. It is, I, I, I won't lie, it is becoming more of a background thing for me. Right. Uh, whereas, like, Flash and Arrow and stuff like that, oh, I'll, God, watch, yeah. I'll watch more intently. Yeah. Uh, whereas, like, I'll I'll go and, like, make food while I'm watching. That's what I was Agent doing. Uh, my my, so, uh, my I, Like, I'll listen to it more than I'll watch it. She was getting mad with me because I was on the phone while watching it, and she's like, why are you really watching this? And I'm like... I'm watching it, like, I, I hear it, it's I know, just not, it's just not, it's just not, it's so not it, it just, that I think it's it, going to focus my attention. I think it's because it's such a short thing, I think. But because if, it's a short thing, there should be more where it's like, boom, I got you, I, you're. I think my, it would work better if they had done it as a Netflix, like, here's the whole eight episodes. Or even a Netflix, here's 13 episodes of this miniseries. Yeah. Even that would have worked. But here's one season because of this that's, show. Because that's, that's what, what Netflix was, does. They do about 13 to 14, maybe even 15 episodes on their series. And there's no reason why this couldn't have been a mini-series with that many episodes on Netflix. Because, I, like, for instance, I watch House of Cards. This last season was only about 13. I even the, I believe the one even below it is about 13 episodes. So there's no reason why they couldn't have done it with Agent Carter either. So, yeah, well, you can't do that for TV. Sure, no, absolutely, absolutely. For a time. But yeah, I mean... That's pretty I, that, much it. Yeah, that's pretty much I really don't have much to say about Agent Carter. Then That part was cool, but otherwise... Uh, and I'm kind of the same way. Like I like the fact that they had Howard Stark on there. Yeah. I was a little afraid that they would kind of phase him out. And it was they just need like, to do more in the next, what, three episodes? Right. Four episodes? Three, four episodes, yeah. Well, I mean, and then there's that moment from the previous episode where... He got on the phone, you know, uh, Jarvis got on the phone with Stark and he said, yes, I think she's a, she's a yeah, great yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She's a great choice. Okay, so that means that you're already, so maybe, he, potentially, he's already planning right, S.H.I.E.L.D. Right, at this absolutely. point. absolutely. So I'm, I'm thinking they, they will bring it to a close right. and have S.H.I.E.L.D. starting by the end of the episode, or the season, but I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to say that because they really aren't moving. Really, not. Especially now at the end of this last one where S.H.I.E.L.D. hates his guts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. That's that's pretty much it. Am I missing another? No, that's it. All right, that's guys. it. All right, guys. Well, that's our review of the the shows. Several uh, shows. Once again, Flash and Arrow. I mean, they're, they're I always think every be week you guys are gonna see us love that show. And they're always they do they're always gonna be tops. Yeah, they're always gonna be tops. So, There's no question uh, about that. Yeah. That was our little review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your guys comments about the, any of the shows or all the shows in the bottom there. You know, now with. Uh, Comments being the way they are, you can leave like uh, uh, an essay down there. So if you guys really want to go into detail about what you guys please thought, do. Please, please do. We love it. We enjoy the comments. Uh, you know, even some of the bad ones. But <laughs> oh, you know what we actually have to do? What? We have to announce the winner. Oh, is that this? This we this have to video? announce the winner. Do we have the winner? Uh, we do have the winner. Hold on. Do I'm we know the winner? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Guys, yeah, so this is the winner for. Uh, Man, I completely the, forgot about for that. For the contest that we held with the M side board, uh, uh, there should be three winners. Phone. It's in the other room. Uh, do you have your phone? Three winners. Uh, yes. Technically, yes. Because um, there should be three winners, two mouses and uh You would think so, but no, there was only one person that commented on Instagram. Uh, other way, other way. Uh huh. Yep. Ah, uh, no. Uh, 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 damn it. Ah, uh, no. Oh, Thirty seconds. No. It is. Man, I'm gonna mess this up. I know I will. It is. Where's the name? LSC Blanc. Where's the name? Right oh, there. Oh, there it is. Uh, LSC Blanc? I would say that would okay. be the best way to say So it. that's the winner of our YouTube contest um, on Instagram. We only had the one person comment. So Did anybody comment on the Facebook, though? Uh, I think he actually commented on both. Uh, I think it was the same person. Uh, oh. Uh, well. Instagram. Because Instagram and Facebook were the mouses, right? That's correct. Okay. So let's open up Instagram here. CMB92 on Instagram. So one comment, Roger Guest. Roger Roger Guest. I really hope the last name is Guest. I hope I hope your last name is that's Guest. That's a cool last name if that's your last name. I actually so, I, I, I do tech support from home. Uh, that's my job and uh, I talked to somebody whose last name was Character and I thought it was hilarious. So we got Roger Guest. Roger Guest. This is a C. Ellis C. Blanc. Yeah, and was a C. And CMB 92. CMB 92, we will be contacting you guys. Pay attention you probably, to your... You probably won't see this, so yeah, we're going to yeah. message you today or tomorrow, 
and uh, to get your information and get that stuff sent out for you, uh, which means that I have to sneak in that review like tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna be sending it pretty soon. So yeah. tonight or tomorrow yeah. for, for the mouse. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I might do all three mouses. Yeah, you know. So yeah, pay attention to your guys' inboxes. Uh, if it's YouTube or Facebook, however you contacted us, and uh, uh, please reply to us so we can get you your stuff. We want to give you this stuff, so please reply. We would like to give you your stuff. Uh, However, I will say right now, and you pro again, pro you're probably not going to watch this, but if you are not in the state, in the states, in the United States or Canada, North America specifically. We can't send you stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, we had a miscommunication with the previous winner. Um, We've mentioned this in other videos, and we do we apologize only, if you guys are do the, not seeing this. We can only do North this, America. It's just too expensive. It's way too expensive to ship anywhere else besides North America because it costs more than what the product is worth. Mm -hmm. And it just... For us, it doesn't make sense. One, and two, it's just too expensive for us. Right now... Everything we're doing is, is out of pocket. We just don't have that much out of pocket. So uh, we're trying our hardest to, you know, give back. But, uh, you know, for now, it is only North America. So please, please don't get offended. Uh, even if you were the winner, but you end up being out of the state, uh, it's it just it's something we can't do at the current moment. Yeah. But anyway... Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our review of all these shows and our, our giveaway announcement, which we almost forgot. Almost forgot. <laughs> um, make sure you like, subscribe, check out T3GTech.com, which is like 90% done. And uh, you look at me. You look yeah. at me. Because it's not done. It, it, it's, it's, it's almost done. <laughs> it's almost done. Uh, but yeah, uh, as always, uh, I'm in Cerebro. Full throttle.